Yeah, take your time. He's got it. It's cool. <laughs> Almost there. There you go. La di da da. You guys know what that is? Any ideas, folks? That's what makes the whining noise. See this? You can pinch your finger in there, careful. So, the people are dying to know. What uh, what do we got going on here? Nobody's dying to know anything. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Oh, you know. Hanging out, making four life choices. Okay, so, that one. The little, it's a little guy. So we're gonna take this not little guy and have two little guys. So now the whole point of doing this was to space this drive pulley out further so that it lines up better with this. And then aha, see? Plenty of vacuum leak right through the carb. Yeah, right down this hole. You know what I mean? A lot of, a lot of suck going on there. Yeah, people are probably wondering, what's this thing about? What's the black, what's the straps and the... So that is when it explodes and you don't scatter parts all over the track. So we're gonna run this straight with a flex hose into the top there. This one flex hose into the bottom of the radiator there. No thermostat, just straight flowing water. All right. Probably just water, no antifreeze. We'll probably do water and some water wetter. Water wetter. Water wetter. So we're gonna go pin, pin. Same Oh my goodness. I'm excited. What's going on over oh, here? Oh, you know, nothing. <laughs> Everybody was working on the tow truck and then they just came over here. It's way more exciting. I was over there, there like hammering. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened, everybody? Where'd everybody go? <laughs> Super super secret loop big one. Yeah, so the super secret build uh, is is, uh, is is brought to you by Hector. <laughs> yeah, well, part of it anyway. Yeah, yeah. You might have seen in the background of his videos a big giant supercharger sitting on an engine in the back. Well, yeah. now it's sitting on this engine. For reals. For, For reals. reals. <laughs> yeah. From the bolt to the water pump. To the top of the scoop was 24 inches. Yeah, if you sight across here, it's the hood's at like 14. <laughs> like that's like level across right, right here. Yeah. yeah. So that's a solid 10 inches. Boy. Yeah, this is Bryson and Brenner Periot. They have Periot's garage here in town. They kind of are the more performance race car guys. And so we called them up to help us make poor decisions with this motor. <laughs> How many uh, horsepower do you guys think this will make? We're gonna keep it around 500, do you think? Our limitations are gonna be around 500. I think that'll be a safe place. Just yeah. put around 500 horsepower. Low end torque and instant torque. And that's kind of what we're going for. It's right now and that's what we want. We want the launch to get going and get some stretch in that yankum rope and, and drag whatever they decide to have us pull in the sand. The right. goal is to make enough power, but not too much to where we grenade it on the first run, you know? Yeah. Try to be happy in the middle. And that'll yeah. be where it sits, yep, that fine point. medium. We, we want to wait till the second run to scatter. <laughs> <laughs> Lock tight. Uh, what is it there? Spark plug, yes, yeah, we got spark plugs. Wires. Yeah, we need wires. What are you doing? <laughs> Making four decisions. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a widow 
widow? It is a widow widow. It's a will wow for a little tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> a little tow truck. You're gonna be amazed, Mike. Are you are you prepared for this amazement? Yes. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. All right. As long as Mike's ready for it, I'm ready to. Why you already gotta say uh oh? Why? I don't even know what we're making. <laughs> I know. It's a snorkel holder. <laughs> Somebody sent us a snorkel, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it'll catch all the water. <laughs> snorkel maker. Oh, that yeah. snorkel. Somebody <laughs> sent us a snorkel. Yes, dude. We need to strap that on something. <laughs> on the well, truck? A small set of stairs to replace the widow wada. <laughs> gauge, gauge, gauge. Oh, it's a gauge cluster for, for these guys. Now it's all coming together. Yeah, because otherwise they're like not quite faced right in your face. Right. See? See? So then we take and we cut this and then we weld this right here and it hits those two bolts that's mounted right there. Right to the driver's seat. Ooh, dang, that's coming along nice. It really does look like a set of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Two and two and an eighth. How big I got? <laughs> that do the spin cam. Oh yeah, they there love that. There you go. Not once we ever seen Justin use that, but that's not true. I've seen it. What do you think, Justin? Dude, look at this thing coming together. It's gonna be a powerful beast. Who's oh. hoping? We're hoping. So check it out, peoples. We got bolts in there, all the holes. <laughs> fingers, fingers. Ah. Okay. All right, sweet. Oh, there's a hose. We got a hose in. Okay, that was awesome. Clearances are tight, but we've got a power steering pulley. Yeah, we put this on yesterday. We didn't show you because we're sneaky like that. We're still working on our alternator, belt, routing, design. We got some challenges with the uh, water pump inlet. So we are building a bracket. B bracket. Okay. 
barely to sort of sure. Yeah, this is it, there. Mike. Nice. That's fuzzy. So, now we got a power steering pump. Then the power steering pump drives the alternator. So, there we go. So, we have steering and charging and noises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is a cool truck. Anyway, look where we are. Grand Tire Pro. I know, we were having fun with it though. Look at that. They Ooh. are glued, both yeah. beads Yeah. are glued. There's 50 pounds of air in them. We might drop it down to 30. I, well, I would, because <laughs> Max is 30 to run. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I have a new dual pattern flywheel here. We have that in, and I picked up torque converter aha there that's a torque converter that's a 13 inch torque converter and this is a 12 inch torque converter and so it is smaller so it fits inside the bell housing and so there it is so then we're gonna swap this out then we're going to set a motor in right Mike yeah yeah that's what's happening gonna happen gosh darn it so much joy in all of our faces oh yeah um more the other way Done our thing. Yeah. How's that? Closer, better, closer, warmer. Pretty damn close right there. Hang on. Okay, I'm holding. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Are you thinking about it? You're thinking about it, aren't you? I'm kind of am. Can you get up in there? Can you get my hand in there? Bing bong. go way down in there. We need a bigger blower now. Taller blower. Double blower. See, I wanted the big scoop that comes like, swoops way up. Yeah. With the four holes. Uh-huh. Mike is putting, what are you doing, Mike? Uh, I'm having a discussion with these wires about their location in relation to headers. It's not going well. <laughs> They're winning. Get this bad boy fired up. We're a long ways from there, but <laughs> come on, don't say long ways. Not long ways. Maybe the end of the day. Maybe at noon it'd be fired up. <laughs> As it's sucking through the carburetor, it's blowing into the motor. Right. <laughs> We've got the ignition control box in here. We're wiring it, tying it into the fuel injection controller. The fuel injection controller is going to control the distributor and yes and things and stuff. I'm getting all this wiring done. Mike is on gauges. We had to swap from the plastic hoses. We've got to go to copper lines so they last a little better and hold up. We are waiting to find a boost reference port to come off of the back of the manifold and tie into that so that when it sees boost, it tells the fuel pump to put more pressure in and change the timing and all that fun stuff and make things work appropriately, right? Yeah. We've got this all working. We got a return spring. We got a throttle cable built. Look at that. You push on that. I'm ready. excited. I gotta quit doing that or I'm gonna flood it. Alrighty. Look who we got in the house today. <laughs> Look who showed up. Gotta come by and check it out. Yeah, man. so this is this is who I may have purchased this poor decision from. <laughs> Just the top half of the poor decision. Yeah, yeah, you did that all on your own. Yeah, man. I did. You did that all on your own. But 
we got him showing up <laughs> to work on this. So this is what I did yesterday at lunch. Yeah, so this right here, he's gonna make this look like the good one. Yeah, we're gonna make them make a match. At least make it look some kind of green. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna go. We'll probably go over Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. You know, get everything prepped and ready yeah, and so. all that. Definitely not go out to the sand dunes. <laughs> oh, whatever. It has to live. Yeah. Easy on the head gasket. It has to live, and I have a problem with my right foot. <laughs> I'm telling you, like... I love it, man. Name, name a kid that grew up... And didn't have the Hot Wheels with the yeah, blower sticking out Yeah, didn't want that poking out <laughs> yeah, of the Yeah, yeah. Who didn't watch a Mad with Max movie. the butterflies. Movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Watch a Mad Max movie and want that. <laughs> Lone Wolf McQuaid. Remember oh, that yeah. one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have a spark plug. <laughs> Nothing, not even a sparkle. Okay. All right. Everybody ready? Yes. Which way? Uh, back it off. Go little man right. hand. Oh, do another one, do another one. Look at that. 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 Look at to see what it does. Yeah, I seen it. it spiked up to about zero or one. That was about four. Okay. Okay. Wanna run it? Yeah, if I say cut it, cut it. <laughs>
Dude, if we can figure out the wiring and the starting and stuff like that. That's all easy shit. I don't think this is ever coming out. Oh, yeah. No, this thing drives great. So, we've driven it a couple times. It is a functional, perfectly good, ready tow truck. Um, got the power welder still hooked up. We've got the throttle control for the welder. So this is, by all accounts, a functional working tow truck. Oh. It just happens to have a cute little motor in it. Yeah, like actually go down the highway. Dude, it drives so nice. Did you mean Jeff were coming down the road last night? 70 miles an hour, just 65. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know where we were driving. <laughs> yeah, 65. Perfect. Perfect. It's the right speed. Mm -hmm. Remember, high control watches. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. 65. 65. We're going 65.